Charles Wallingford back again with another Distilled Age Spirit video. And we're here with some Boss Armagnac or Ba Armagnac. It's Dartilly Galon. It's a very hard <laughs> way to understand or very hard word to try to get right, especially with French. French is weird. French doesn't make any sense. So if I am pronouncing that incorrectly, please forgive me. This Dartilly Galon is the EXO and the ordage. If you're not familiar, familiar with these terms, the EXO, much like cognac, is a higher level because with cognac you have VS, VSOP, Napoleon, then EXO. So what is hordage? That's the next level. The hordage is a 15 year old. The EXO is, should be around 10 years old. That's the rule, rules and laws of the, that grading system. Um, with this review, this is a cold review, this cold review, meaning that this is the very, very, very first time I've had it. This bottle hasn't been opened yet, and I'm going to do my best. I'm not going to go crazy on explaining it, but I will explain if, if it, I'll enjoy it and if it's worth it. I will go into the scents and the flavors as best I can, but what you have to understand, a lot of people who do these reviews, if they're not BSing you, telling you something that you just want to hear, a lot of them are taking a long time to break down what they have had or they've had it before and didn't tell you. Because when you break down these flavors, a lot of times, this is not the first, second, third time you had it. You at least had a lot of time to really understand what you're having. And that sometimes these flavors change from minute to minute. Let's go ahead and get to what we're get, uh, this review and we're gonna open it up for the first time and we're gonna have something really nice and I'll talk to you while I'm setting up uh, our glasses here. So I am a big time Armagnac fan because I'm a big time Cognac fan. I like cognac a whole lot. I love cognac. However, cognac, as, as I have learned, tends to be pretty expensive for what it actually is. No knock on it, it's just pretty expensive for what it is and I'm always trying to find ways to save money. Still has a seal on it. Trying to open it. And you can save money in different ways. And one of the ways I save money is being more educated about what I am enjoying. And the education has brought me to Armagnac. See if I spilled a little bit. Shame on me. I'm trying to be cool. And so that is what brought me to Armagnac. And I've Doing these, doing these videos, people, I read the comments. And if, you, if, you're, uh, if, if you want to, if you have something to say, leave a comment. I read all the comments. I uh, respond to most of them. And some of them I make a video about, just the comment. And in one of my comments years ago, when I was doing a cigar pairing, they recommended Armagnac. And I had not had Armagnac before. I knew what it was, but I had not had it before, and I found that, you know what? Armagnac is absolutely worth getting into. Um, a little side note, uh, one of the biggest reasons why Armagnac is, is worth getting into is the price. As I said before, cognac might be a little bit overpriced. These two together, these two together, an EXO and an Ordage, cost me... $120. $120 for two high level, highly aged brandies. There's no way, there's no way that most Ordages are going to cost maybe $200 in, in, uh, in cognac world. If, I'm get, if I run across an Ordage, I'll be absolutely, absolutely lucky to get a $200 Ordage. This was a little bit over $60. This was a little bit 
under uh, fifty dollars. And um, wow, I think I have something really nice. And when I say that, I, I can as soon as I poured out the Hordage, that's really it. It was something I was not ready for, and the and the scent in that is. Woo, smells good already. It smells good already. Uh, for the price already, it's worth it. Just with the scent. Um, what I'm going to do, give me a break, uh, a, a break for a second. I'm going to get some water so I'll have a sort of a clean palate when I try them both. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. So this is what I'm going to do. I wasn't ready for this. I wasn't expecting this. I'm going to place the Fordage behind me. Bring this up to me, the XO, and um, then we're gonna get started. That the Ordage is very dominant, is too dominant, and I, I won't be able to really get the sense that's coming out of this. So let's get started. So I'm not getting anything unusual from the XO. Far as uh, let's, let's go, hold on. <laughs> I'm not getting anything unusual that I wouldn't expect to smell from a grape brandy, a cognac, an armagnac, or any other type of grape brandy. But it does smell pretty inviting. Let me get a little bit closer. Um, when I look for a a good distilled aged spirit, the number one thing is the alcohol how much that punches you in the face. Now this is both, they're both 40%, so it's not a high alcohol content. So if it was a higher alcohol content, I would expect a little bit. But it's it, it smells of high quality cognac, army yak, what have you. It's really deep and rich. Bit pruney. And see, sometimes you can over, overdo it for your nose too. See, some, sometimes it's just a little bit too much. Give yourself a break. Sweet, definitely sweet. Maybe honey. Now go out to say maybe a little bit nutty. All right, let's go ahead and give it a uh, taste. Now it's very enjoyable. It's very enjoyable. I um, can't pick out anything that is over the top, like a, a certain flavor. Like I wouldn't be able to pull this out of a lineup. If, if I was doing a blind tasting, I, I could not say, whoa, that's, that's D'Artelle Jean Lange. It's nice though. It's nice. Again, I, this is a this is a cold cold review. So I will, I don't I don't have my notebook, and I, I'm not trying to make myself sound any better than what I am. I know who I am, and a lot of you know who I am and what I'm about. And it's all about main thing is quality. So do I have a quality spirit? Yes. Is this something that stands out that I can pick out in a crowd? No. Um, does this taste like a XO cognac? Yes. So for $50 or a little bit, yeah, around $50, am I getting a quality XO cognac? Yes. This is, this is much deeper and richer of a product because I know I have an XO. It's deep and rich, but when you spend fifty dollars on a distilled A spirit, you're not expecting this. 
Not usually. Not usually. Especially with all the taxes and every and, and the tariffs that have to take place when you get something from another country. If it's $50, it's probably, what, $30 in France. And that's crazy that something like this can be so inexpensive. One of the reasons why I was intrigued by this uh, Armagnac is because of the color. This is probably the darkest Armagnac I've ever had and probably the darkest um, brandy I've ever had. It's very, very dark as you can see. I'm gonna set that down. The uh, the finish isn't spectacular, but it's uh, something that is not bad on the uh, palate. Like very very slight bitterness, slight licorice. Very slight, because I don't like licorice, uh, and bitter, sometimes I like bitter. But I don't like licorice, but it's not, it's not, it's not repulsive at all. Again, around $50, that's a damn good product. Damn good product. And shout out to, uh, to uh, Angel Share in Gambrels, Maryland. Uh, I... Put in orders to try to get these things. You're not going to buy it. If you're in, in the United States, you're not just going to buy this on the shelves. You're going to have to put an order in to get it. And consistently, Angel Share and Gambrose, Maryland, was able to get these items that are not regularly in the store. So big kudos to them. All right. Now, let's start. Let's go to the Ordage. So I pushed away the glass. I pushed away the glass of the Ordage earlier because it was so overpowering. When I was when I poured it out, it was very overpowering. In a good way. In a good way. I just wanted to give the XO a chance. Like I, I just could not. It was just. It hit me. It hit me hard. And the scent that I actually re was getting was something I smelled before, in a very old aged rum it reminded me of aged rum big time it, it reminded me of a high high um dominant uh molasses a molasses rum uh aged rum because when you have aged rum either you're gonna have a big dominant molasses profile or you're gonna have a, a dominant vanilla profile and a lot of times you can have both of those together this reminded me of that high molasses profile distilled aged oh, excuse me that uh, that uh, aged rum yeah this smells completely different it's it's just, this is the same product they're the same product this smells completely different I would be able to pick this up The spices that I'm getting, I'm getting some unusual spices. I don't know if I'm getting something like, not anise, what am I getting? Um, starts with a T, what is that? That licorice spice, that spice tastes like licorice. What is that? Um, I had to stop the video because it was bothering me. Tarragon. I think I'm picking up tarragon. Now, of course, this is a distilled A spirit made from wine. And wine gives you other flavors besides grape. And then when you age it, it gives you even more flavors. 
and you go on to flavors of raisin, um, flavors of, of prune. Sometimes you get something, some, some aged apple, cooked apple and things like that. What am I getting here? Prune, raisin, possibly, yeah. Am I getting that nuttiness? Not really. The nuttiness was light, fleeting. But yeah, the tarragon is what I was getting, along with, like I said earlier, that rum, the old rum with that strong molasses. That's what I'm getting. All right, let's go ahead and give this a taste. Okay, off the bat, this tasted a little bit sweeter. And I'm definitely getting that prune. The alcohol burn is so much. This is very light. The XO is very light alcohol burn like an XO should be. But the alcohol burn on this is very light. Very light. A uh, little side note, what I usually expect when you have something pretty old, however, with the lower APV, you're not going to have that all the time, but I was expecting to have a, a, a much heavier or thicker mouthfeel. I'm not getting that. I'm, I'm surprised that didn't happen with something so old, because when you, when you age something for so long, it's the evaporation, you concentrate things and it thickens up the liquid. Now, that tarragon was just in the scent. It's not in this, in the, uh, in the, in the, on the palate and flavors. I am, I am picking up that that uh that rum and i i find that very intriguing i find that very enjoyable um another thing that i don't really care for i don't really care for when when something gets aged for a long time is that wood flavor punch you in your mouth i'm not getting that with either one of these and especially not this one there is a little bit there's a little bit of wood dryness now i'm talking I'm picking that up. Again, guys, why do you, why should you, I don't, this should be its own video, but here's my, here's my little spiel real quick. I don't know the next time I'm going to buy cognac and drink it. The next time I most likely is I'm going to buy cognac i'm just going to buy it just to collect it i do that also i collect uh spirits and i'm going to be drinking armagnac because if i'm going to pay 120 dollars for two extremely extremely well done distilled aged spirits and i can pay 150 dollars for one xo Cognac that's not nowhere near as good as this. This is fantastic. Oh my god, this is fantastic. I'm not going to do it. I'm not gonna spend a hundred and fifty dollars on something that I can spend sixty dollars on and have a better better product. That's the bottom line. Alright guys. I did enjoy this. I hope you enjoy this. I hope if you see this in the store. Or you see this video, hopefully the store you go to is anything like Angel Share in Gambrels, Maryland. I wasn't paid for, to make the, to say that. I'm just proud of them because I've seen them come a long way already. If you're able to get it ordered, order this. This is a good one. And I'm going to have this picture up here on the screen so you can see it a little bit closer because this is not, again, if you're an English speaking person from the United States, and you're not familiar with French, 
This is not an easy thing to <laughs> pronounce. And I'm going to try it one more time to say it right. Dr. Long, Dr. Long <laughs> is how I would spend my money, the XO or the Ordage. See you on the next video.